The Nudge RDA from Motofo and Matt Cully suck my mods. Let's have a look. Hey guys, Benvik here, back with another review. Today we are looking at this, the Nudge RDA from Otofo, uh, in collaboration with Matt from Suck My Mod. Um, Matt, brilliant reviewer, uh, superb reviewer, I've mentioned many times on the channel, a big fan of his reviews. Uh, he has collaborated with Rotofo to make this Nudge RDA. Uh, we recently reviewed, or uh, we did a versus actually, a video on the uh, Nudge box, the Nudge Squonk box uh, versus the Pulse BF. Uh, this one, uh, this is the RDA following up with the same name as the Nudge box. Uh, comes with a Squonk pin and uh, comes uh, with a normal pin as well if you want to use it as a normal RDA. Available in a wide range of colours uh, with really cool drip tips to match as well. Green, red, blue, black, stainless steel. Uh, a full range of colours available. Very, very cheap as well. Uh, I've seen it in the UK about £20, America about $30. Uh, very affordable, uh, very, very well priced uh, indeed. Um, it's got a very unique deck, uh, Z z-shape coil system uh so uh, i'll show you that down low uh yeah an interesting one an interesting one uh, i do believe they're going to be doing a single coil version of this rda as well which will be very interesting uh, i do like my single coil rda so that'll be interesting to see uh but let's go down low have a really good look at this uh, especially that deck and then we'll come back up top for pros and cons see you in a sec all right guys here we are up close with the nudge rda from otofo uh, carrying on with this fancy packaging that they did for the Nudge Squonker. You can see mine is green there. Authenticity, 24 mil. All good stuff. Opening her up, we are greeted with this. I've got the green one here. Available in some uh, really fancy colours and comes with a fancy drip tip as well. Uh, that there is your... Um, converts it to a standard 510 drip tip. You've also got your manual, you've got your O-rings, you've got your uh, squonk pin, a couple of coils, bit of cotton, all that stuff in there. Manual, all good. Getting back to the RDA. Here we go, this is the nudge. So, as I've said, you've got your, your big fancy drip tip, matches, the, uh, matches whichever RDA you get. You got this symbol on here, air, airflow there, nudge on this side. As you can see, I've got it in squonk mode. I'm going to put it on the nudge box. Uh, you can also see under here, suck my mod. Uh, this was designed in collaboration with Matt from Suck My Mod. Uh, Watofo. Air holes on that side as well. So an interesting looking thing. The one thing I'll just say straight away about the looks um, or dimensions or what have you. When you put it on the nudge box, the nudge RDA on the nudge box. Let's just do that now. I'm going to need to do that to get the top cap off anyway, but uh, it slightly overhangs. So the nudge RDA on the nudge box. Sorry, can you see that? It has a little bit of overhang <laughs> on its own thing. I don't know. I don't get that. But anyway, that's a thing. Um, if we pull the top off, oh, we see where the magic is going on. So we've got uh, adjustable uh, dual airflow here. You can turn it like that to adjust it, obviously. Um, <coughs> you've got your, uh, your deck, and this is where uh, shit gets real, to be quite frank. Um, a lot going on in here. Uh, first things first, uh, you've got your very deep juice well. Very deep juice well for an RDA like this. Uh, I hope that comes across. Very, very deep indeed. Uh, you've then got your air holes uh, that are adjustable. Obviously, double O-ring affair on here. O-rings are great, actually, as it goes. Uh, but yeah, you've got your air flow there. So the air is firing in here, firing through the side here, like that. And uh, you've got your coils in the middle here. So what you've got is like um, an, a Z, Z shape coil design. So what you've got to do is you put your coil in the middle and then you put one lead down out this way, one lead up out that way. And yeah, so it goes duh, 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 duh. And uh, 
I have no idea what the advantage of that is. I can tell you it's quite fiddly. I know these coils don't look the best ever, and that's because it is quite fiddly to build. Um, you have to basically bend your leads. If you put a bend in your lead, you can make it a lot easier for yourself. But even then, you've got this... Um, I've talked about before a lot on the channel, these these split post things. So you've got to be careful to make sure the lead stays in while you're screwing down. Uh, split post on the inside, so you've got to find a way to sort of get something down there and push it up against. Um, so, yeah, once you've got it together, it's fine. Uh, but not, it's not the easiest RDA to mount your coils on. It really isn't. And as you can see as well with the way I've mounted mine, I haven't quite managed to get them bang in line with the coil airflow wise. You can see how this one is not really taking up full advantage of the air hole. I really struggled, you know. Uh, I'm not the greatest builder ever. <laughs> I mean, you're looking at <laughs> a couple of janky coils now, so that is testament to that. But uh, but yeah, oh gosh, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy putting coils in here. Maybe it get easier over time. The one thing that is gonna be very easy here is wicking. Uh, you know, you're just going to go straight through there and you can drop your cotton into this ocean, ocean of uh, of space down here for your cotton. All right, got it all wicked up, piece of cake, as uh, as I suspected. Um, it's all juiced up and stuff. Uh, got it on the nudge. If I give it a squeeze, you can see it squonking in action. You do have to be careful. You have to give it quite a light press because it uh, very quickly wants to get up to these holes. Um, if you over squonked on this it would literally just come out of these side airflows. I don't know if I can show you that. It gets very close to those side holes when you squonk it, uh, so you don't want to over squonk it by any means. But uh, one thing that is quite nice if you're using it as a normal dripper is uh, when you drip down it does hit that little ledge and it, it does move the juice across the coils really nicely when you drip down normally. But uh, yes, it's, uh, it's all juiced up. I'll put it back together like that. You can see the adjustable airflow in action here. It's best to go that way to close it down. But uh, there you go. The nudge RDA. Let's go up top and talk about this. Okay, guys, that was the uh, nudge RDA down low. Um, a very, very unique, very interesting RDA. Uh, follow up as we've said to the nudge box so the nudge RDA and the nudge box um, there's a few things I want to go over on this there's a few things uh, we, I need to say uh, about this uh, firstly I don't really get the nudge name I don't get why they followed on the nudge name from the, the, uh, from the mod uh, it's, uh, it's a really strange one in my opinion uh, it, it slightly overhangs the nudge RDA slightly overhangs the nudge box I don't get that. I don't get that. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's a very strange decision. Also, I think this RDA is more designed and more tailored for traditional RDA use. Uh, you know, dripping juice in as a dripper rather than as a squonk RDA. I say that simply because of the way the juice well and the way the airflow works. You know, it's very, very easy to over squonk this RDA. Um, it's a strange, stra strange thing for this to be called a nudge when really... It doesn't fit beautifully on the nudge box, and it's not a perfectly set up RDA for squonking. Uh, so that's a strange thing. Uh, the other thing I want to get out of the way is the deck. Now the deck, I can see what they're thinking with that, and there's a definite logic to to the way they've done it. However, I think it's tricky to build on. I think it's tricky to build on. I think the goal of any RDA should be as good a vape quality as you can get with as easy a build as you can get, you know? So, like, the Goon and the Velocity have been such successful RDAs over the years because they're so easy to build on and they vape so well. You know, this one vapes good, but I've got to say, I've got to say, it's quite tricky to build on. It really is. You've, you've, because it's got those open clamps and because you've got to spread your, your, your leads away, it's really tricky to build on. I, I've got to put that out there. Don't get me wrong, if you're an accomplished builder, if you're a skillful builder, you're a very experienced builder, you you will be fine with this. You will be fine getting your coils in. But there are far easier RDAs to mount your coils in than this RDA. So I've got to say that. I've got to say that. It's a little bit tricky. My advice is 
to line up your coil exactly how you want it before you try and put it in. So literally place your coil in the deck and then work out exactly where you need your leads bending to. You'll need them both on a slight slant to get them in. Uh, once you've done that, once you, the, the second build I did on this, when I did that, it was a lot easier. Uh, but first time around, as you saw down low with those coils when I had it clean first time, that they were very, it was very, very tricky indeed. Uh, I really struggled, and yeah, um, it's a, the, it's 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 not something you see that often these days in RDAs. Usually they're they're quite easy to build on these days, but this one it's quite tricky. I've got to put that out there. Uh, the last thing I will say is about about the airflow. It's quite low. It's a really deep juice well, but it's quite the airflow sits quite low on the RDA, and it does mean you can over squonk this. Also, if it's really juiced up and you start tipping it about, juice can come out quite easily of these air holes. Uh, just a little thing to bear in mind. Uh, that's one side. It's vaping a bit like this. Flavour, vape quality is all right. Really decent. Really, really decent. I am enjoying the flavour on this. Um, the airflow, you know, is completely adjustable. Uh, you can close it and open it as much as you like, which is nice. That's about half, and the flavour goes up again at half. Um, I've got it like that, if you can see that. Uh, yeah, it's the airflow is nice and adjustable. Uh, it vapes and tastes very, very good indeed. Surprisingly good, I would say. Um, I'm quite enjoying the vape. Again, as we say with RDAs, it does tick a lot of boxes. Has a squonk pin, fits goon tips, really nice looking. Very well put together, very well built, very affordable. A lot of nice positives. And I've got to say, the vape quality is solid, very good. Uh, and I would say it's a particularly nice looking RDA. Uh, if you have the right matching mod, not necessarily the nudge box, but if you have the right matching mod, I think uh, I think it would look really good on there. Uh, certainly look quite good on certain mechs as well, I'm thinking of as well. So I think it's a decent looking thing. Uh, I think it ticks a lot of the boxes we look for in RDAs these days. Um, just a bit tricky to build on and very easy to over squonk. Uh, yes, that's those two, those are things. If you're using it as normal RDA though, uh, there's a lot less problems actually, except the tricky build. It's tricky to build on. I think I've stated that uh, more than enough. Uh, so not a bad vape at all. Not a bad vape at all. Uh, I'm enjoying the flavour and the vape quality. Just a bit tricky to build on. Just a bit tricky to build on. The Nudge RDA from Otofo and Matt Cully, Supma Mod. If you're not subscribed to Matt and you subscribe to me, you're crazy. Because he is a really good reviewer. Um, I'll, so I'll, leave that, I'll leave that hanging out there. Uh, I really like him. Uh, I've been Mavin Vic and I'll see you again soon.